in this video i am going to discuss about time and from ancient time the sun plays a very important role and has been a time keeper because we know it that the sun keeps a daily appointments of rising from east and setting in the west so sun is an ancient uh, timekeeper the sundial has been used to measure the time well now the question is is the sun a perfect uh, timekeeper well in the era of atomic clock the answer is no so now first let us discuss what is a duration of day we are going to start the time relationship with the day well we know that the earth rotates west to east and one complete rotation of 360 degree takes in a day well is it a 24 hours the question is is this rotation 24 hours now let us look at the top view and we are having a reference star that is first point of Aries this is an imaginary point and very far so if we know so if we need to know the rotational period we need to have a point which is at very large distance from earth and suppose earth is rotating this way the west to east rotation and this is the point over here and the earth rotates like this and again it come back in the same line uh, with this first point of Aries so this period naturally is of constant uh, duration and it, of course is a true rotational period but the value is not 24 hours it's the, it is 23 hours 56 minutes and 0 0.41 seconds so now we can define a day and this day is a sidereal day this is the time interval between two successive meridian passages of first point of Aries over the same uh, meridian well this meridian passages means passing of a celestial object over the same meridian so suppose this is the earth and earth is rotating west to east and this is the top view earth is rotating like this and this object has to move like this however there is going to be an apparent motion of first point of Aries and the first point of Aries will move like this suppose this first point of Aries was here at this point and after some time it passes again from the same point so that is the sidereal day and the duration of sidereal day as we discuss is 23 hours 56 minutes and 4.1 seconds we also know that earth revolves around the sun in an elliptical orbit and it follows Kepler's laws well it also means that sun makes an apparent revolution of 360 degree in 365 and one quarter days so let us understand this is an elliptical orbit of earth around sun and the sun is at one of the foci this is the first point of Aries this is an imaginary reference point and earth is uh, rotating uh, like this well earth has two motion one is uh, rotation which is rotating about its own axis but the same time earth is also moving along this orbit around the Sun so this is also a revolution uh, period so if we measure day from sun instead of uh, first point of Aries then we need to have this a uh, solar day we call this as a solar day if we are taking a reference point as sun so here at E1 
sun is at the same at, at the meridian at some meridian however when the earth has moved from e1 to e2 that is e1 to e2 earth has moved this way that is one day motion of earth so the sun is not at the same meridian at e2 but the sun is different and we can easily say that this is about one degree earth has to rotate further by about one degree to align with the sun why it is so we can easily say that the sun will appear to move eastward by one degree and apparent revolution of sun of 360 degree around the earth in 365 and one quarter days will give a rate of one degree per day eastward well it is very very approximate i think it's better to use this diagram that the sun will appear to move eastward by one degree look at this here earth has to rotate further in this direction by one degree so sun will appear to move moving eastward in this direction by one degree so what is the conclusion that from one meridian passage of the sun to the next earth has to rotate by approximately 360 plus 1 that is 361 degree because this is sun this is earth and earth is rotating same time earth is moving along this orbit so earth has to rotate about 361 degree if we need to take sun as a reference a star not the first point of aries so now let us uh, understand this that 360 degree is 24 hours 360 degree of rotation is uh, 24 hours so 1 degree is 24 by 360 hours and we can easily calculate that 24 by 360 into 60 minutes because 1 hour of time is 60 minutes of time so 1 hour of degree is 4 minutes and we know this solar day which earth is rotating 361 degree and the sidereal day which is 360 degree so the solar day is 4 minutes longer than sidereal day however this sidereal day is not used as unit of measurement of time in seven life because we depend on sun the life on earth is governed by sun so we choose a solar day and this is essential to choose so that sun crosses the same meridian on earth at about the same time each day throughout the year